by when say can we you know like uh, completely swap the cng with cbg well uh, technologically we are ready hmm. what's stopping us uh, see uh, the implementation uh, under the uh, 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 the government satat scheme is currently at very earlier stages there are only around 40 odd plants which are operational yes, so you can uh, i can say like this uh, government of india initially had a target of uh, setting up 5000 cbg plant across india by 2023 i think yeah. am i right so so far only 50 plants has been established so you can see there is a still a huge gap to before you can uh, say that yes we are close to the target Uh, and one of the uh, uh, plant is again uh, factor is again the continuous availability of feedstock feedstock yeah uh, because if you uh, uh, say uh, in case of parali there is a certain period of time mm. when the parali is available if you want to run just your biogas plant on based on parali you have to have a large uh, space just to keep your inventory then uh, which it most of the times is not possible so you look for other uh, reliable uh, sources like say cow dung now your uh, that bacterial uh, uh, bacteria has to be designed such that it will uh, it can uh, digest cow dung as well as parali so these are the operational challenge i will not say these are technological challenges but industry being new uh, uh, what i feel uh, it's my personal view that most of the players are not uh, still very well versed or experienced in all these operational uh, nitty gritties with the new space right now and if say uh, one uh, player is facing difficulty the other uh, players are uh, already alarmed that okay he is facing the difficulty it is not the technology it is just that uh, there is no uh, i mean there is not a, uh, what we i would call a critical uh, um, mass of bio, uh, this plants or operators which are experienced enough who can do the uh, i mean understand the nitty gritties and uh, make the adjustment do you think that something of that kind for example if we have a biogas plant you know specific to each state like every state would have their own set of wastes coming in so probably something that is specific to you know geographical location that could be like an area that probably we could look on so the supply chain gets fixed and uh, like just uh, in fact it is happening in most of the places Uh, i mean uh, government at policy level and at uh, state levels have been uh, <coughs> very active uh, not only in making the policy to see how it is being actually implemented so uh, this kind of changes at district levels or uh, uh, they are being implemented uh, now uh, government of india has given a, another in- incentive uh, they have involved all our oil marketing companies like iocl bpcl hpcl gale so all the uh, government of uh, india has instructed them uh, if any cbg producer private cbg produ- uh, producer can uh, provide a required amount of cbg per day so they have fixed the pricing so uh, initially it, uh, they are saying that uh, you will you are guaranteed a price of 46 rupees okay 46 rupees per kg of uh, cbg so now uh, they have further uh, changed it uh, now they have linked it to the day to day this pricing of natural gas they have linked it to natural gas price so they have upgraded the pricing also so this is also uh, on one of the incentive to the cbg uh, producing companies So if you can generate, they have set up a limit. If you, I mean, the quantity should be minimum two two tons per day, two thousand kg per day of CBG. If you can generate that kind, that and that kind of uh, CBG, then you can approach the oil marketing company. They will guarantee they'll the buy, they'll buy they'll that kind of CBG from CBG. So would you say that we are on a good track, and you know, like India would see that? 
definitely i mean the kind of uh, ambitious commitments we are making uh, in terms of reducing our uh, greenhouse emissions uh, india has to lead actually it is not that we are uh, 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 very large emitters of co2 per capita at least per capita wise but uh, it is uh, you know uh, very very good that government of india has shown uh, Uh, very serious commitments to de- reduce and uh, despite being despite night not being a developed country so uh, it is a way we are showing the torch to the i mean no, actually the fact community. is that if you don't do that the full brunt of global warming will, is going to come to us only because we will be the worst sufferer although we are not responsible uh, for the hot <laughs> the current situation but still uh, we have to face the music we are the most vulnerable most in vulnerable. terms of Until and that city. is there you know like we i really appreciate what government of india and specifically our honorable prime minister narendra modi ji is doing even with the coming of the india energy week i think it's a great great initiative to put india on the global map and like as i feel that you know somewhere he also and the entire body gets confidence from people like you because who are working so actively in decarbonizing india's energy footprint while providing the access and security to energy so thank you for doing that and thank you for saying it with that confidence that india has to lead thank